Hello everyone, welcome to Caroline's Craftery today. Yep, you guessed it. CCT 52 Challenge. We are on week 34. We are moving right along. I've got my dice, whoops, and I am ready to get started. We are making an envelope and we need three prompts. My prompts are right here. So let's dig out three and see what we need to do today. We got one, we got two, and we got three. So we have a crossword puzzle, an animal, and a quote. Okay. I can see something happening with these. So I will go. I don't think I have a crossword puzzle. But I got a couple ideas in my head right now. So let's. So yeah. So it, that's possible. Um, animal and quote. I. Yeah. I've got something already going on in my brain. So we will go and gather up the few things that we need. And then I'll come back and we'll make it. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I'm back. I've got my things. For my envelope, I'm going to use this. It's a seed envelope. Actually, somebody sent these to me, but forgive me, but I don't remember who. I've had them for a while. So we're going to use that. I've got a bunch of birds for my animals. And I don't have crossword puzzle, but I do have this word find thing. And I thought, well, I got to use a quote. So we've got, this was like a quote one where you would find the words and it makes a quote. So what I did was I just colored some words. So a reason to cut up and watch. Is it a real quote? Not really, but hey, a quote is just some words put together. So we're going to use that. And we got our page. We're going to use the back side of this one. Oh, the one thing I didn't get was my numbers. So look in my little envelope of goodies here. And we need number 34. So here's a four. These are from an old calendar. And it looks like I've used up most of the threes. So let's just use... 13 and we'll just cut the three off of it like that so there is our numbers let's cut those out we'll save this one for uh, another day hope you're following along I'm gonna cut this really close here so there is our three and then we got our four but hope you're having fun with the challenge we're moving right along on our weeks here so let's just move that paper off to the side for a minute okay now, I think I want to tear this. Um, I'm going to tear it right along here. Like so. And then I think I just want all the letters off to the side. So we'll rip that down. Um, okay, that'll do there. And let's do it to about 
here. So this we need to do a little bit straighter and then let's rip down just so then all of our sides are ripped. Okay, here we go. I don't do um, crossword puzzles, but I do, I did, when I was younger, I really liked these word find ones, so. Okay, that should work, so let's ink up the edge of this. Just to kind of give it a little more um, dimension and make it stand out that little bit. Ink it up. I do look forward to seeing what you make for the challenge. There is some links in the description here um, of people that have been doing the challenge. And if you've been doing the challenge and just doing videos, please let me know because I would love to see. Okay, let's put that right down there. We're going to use art glitter glue, as always. Just peel off the glue on the end. Okay, let's... I want to ink up close to the edge, just so it holds it down. It's not going to take much to hold this paper down. But I don't want it lifting up, so get it close to the edge as I can. Try not to get too many big blobs. And then I'll just a little bit in the middle, don't need too much. And let's put that down. Just like that. Okay, now this, I was thinking on putting one of these birds. Let's see which one. Okay, that one would work. I don't want it in the cage, but then sticking out of the cage. Kind of like that. So let's... I'm going to just put a little bit of glue to hold this guy down. So let's put a dot right there. And let's just put one dot over here just to... It's going to be glued down anyways, but this way it stays. The bird will stay where I want him. So I'm going to put some right here too. There we go. I'm thinking I'm putting this just right down here. Should have actually inked that bird before I put him in there. Just so then he would stand out a little bit better. Yeah, not really going to work too well, but that's okay. Let's put him down. We'll put down the whole bird cage. Make sure we get the outside of the bird cage. This was a die, or is a die that I have. And same with the bird. There we go. Put a little bit on the bird too, just to hold them down and let's put that and right down here okay push them all down and then we got other birds here so let's actually ink up the edge of him i've had these birds actually for a long time cut out oh. I guess there's two there. 
Okay, let's put glue on the back of them. These were just cut out of like a book page, so they're actually very thin. Kind of almost too thin. But once you get them glued down. Okay, he's just going to go over there. So the birds don't like jump out, but they're, they're okay. Now these little blue ones, let's dig out my numbers here before I end up losing them, which I already, there's my three. Let's ink those up. I do like um, numbering them now. Brenda started that and I thought it was a great idea. There is a link to Brenda's channel below. Okay, so there's those. Now these little birds, these are die cuts too. Let's put some glue onto here. And you know how on pictures sometimes they always have birds in the distance and they're just these little tiny things. So I'm just going to put those kind of randomly around. Just for something. A little extra something on the page or on the envelope I should say. They do go in two different directions, but I thought I might as well use them up. There we go. And then we've got a couple. Oh, I guess these go in the same direction. I guess they all go in the same direction. I was thinking some went that way, but I guess technically that's the back. But that's okay, I don't mind if they all go in the same direction. It really doesn't matter that much. Let's put one up here. And then we got one more. <clears throat> and let's just put him right here in the middle. And then I think we're gonna put the numbers right here. So we got a three, we'll put them right on that line, like that, and another one. This challenge really has kind of turned into a collage challenge, even though we're making other things, depending on what you have to make. So there we go, there is that. Let's just move all that off to the side. So nothing hard, nothing complicated. Let's put the pin in the glue so it doesn't dry out. But let's ink up the envelope a bit. To me, this challenge is about using what we have using up some of that supplies even though i don't think we're using enough to make a big difference on when you look at your stash and think oh yeah i've used up a lot no but it's fun it's fun just using what you have and what's available So there's a bit of room on the back here for writing. And then hopefully one day we will make something to fit in the envelope. Let's just ink up that side too. And there we go. Let's bring in our page. 
And what I want to do is I want to line this up kind of with the stitching. I don't want to cover the stitching and then it's going to flip open. That is my plan. So it's an envelope, but it's going to be a flip envelope. Let's get some glue on the flap. There we go, and I'm going to put it down right about like that. And let's just put that down there. Maybe if we've got to do a page cover too, I could do a little strip for there, or maybe even a belly band could go over that. So, so there we have week 34. We have animals, crossword puzzle, and a quote, a reason to cut up and watch. Good enough for me. Hope you liked it. Check out the other CCT 52 challenge. And have fun and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.